we're looking at examples of limits that can be evaluated using L'Hopital's rule. And in these examples, we see that L'Hopital's rule can be applied multiple times if needed. So let's look at this first one. The limit as x approaches 1 of one polynomial over another. And so the first thing to try, of course, is to try substituting a value of 1 in for the variable. So when we do that, we get 1 cubed, which is 1, and this will be 1 minus 5 plus 7 minus 3, and that will be over 1 minus 4 plus 5 minus 2. Now let's see, this is 1 minus 5 is negative 4, plus 7 is 3, minus 3 is 0, and the denominator uh, also evaluates to 0. So 0 over 0, indeterminate form, L'Hopital's rule says that we can take the limit here by taking the derivative of the numerator and the derivative of the denominator and trying the limit again. So this is equal to the limit as x approaches 1 of the derivative of the numerator, which we do term by term. So that's 3x squared minus 10x plus 7 over 3x squared minus 8x plus 5. Now when we try to substitute 1 in for the variable in these expressions, let's see what we get. So this is going to be 3 minus 10 plus 7 over 3 minus 8 plus 5. And the numerator and denominator both evaluate to 0 again. Well, in this case, it's still an indeterminate form, and the limit, if it's an indeterminate form, can be found by taking the derivative of the numerator and derivative of the denominator and evaluating the limit again. So in this case, we can uh, simply apply L'Hopital's rule a second time. So this will equal the limit as x approaches 1. So this will be 6x minus 10 over 6x minus 8. And this can be evaluated with a simple substitution. We put 1 for x in here, and we get 6 minus 10. And put 1 down here, and we get 6 minus 8. So that's negative 4 over negative 2. We get an answer. The limit is 2. Okay, so the point there is that you can apply L'Hopital's rule multiple times if needed. But remember, only apply L'Hopital's rule multiple times if needed. Only if it comes out to an indeterminate form again would you apply L'Hopital's rule again, because L'Hopital's rule only applies to indeterminate forms. Okay, let's look at another example. Here we have the limit as x approaches 0 of x minus sine x over x cubed. And you can see that if we put in a value of 0 for x, we just get 0 minus 0 over 0, which is indeterminate. So let's apply L'Hopital's rule. This will equal the limit as x approaches 0 of the derivative of the numerator, which will be 1 minus cosine x over 3x squared, the derivative of the denominator. Now, if we put in 0 for the variable, we end up with 1 minus cosine of 0, which is 1, over 3 times 0 squared, so that's 0 over 0. So the, this limit right here is an indeterminate form, so we apply L'Hopital's rule. So this will equal the limit as x approaches 0 of the derivative of the numerator over the derivative of the denominator. Now in the numerator, taking the derivative term by term, the derivative of 1 here is just uh, 0. So we have 0 minus the derivative of cosine x, and the derivative of cosine is negative sine. So this is minus, that's that minus sign right there, the derivative of that negative sign. Minus negative sine x is positive sine x. So this is sine x in the numerator. 
and the derivative of the denominator is 6x. Okay, now if we substitute x equals 0 right here, we get sine of 0 over 6 times 0, and that's 0 over 0. So we can apply L'Hopital's rule again. This will be the limit as x approaches 0 of the derivative of the numerator, which will be cosine x, over the derivative of the denominator, which will be 6. And this we can evaluate with a substitution. Put in 0 for x, we get cosine of 0, which is 1, and the denominator is 6. And that's it. 1 sixth is the limit of the original function as x approaches 0.